Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a timer using C Sharp. So first, let's create a new project. Select the Windows app framework. Make sure it's C Sharp. Rename it. So the first thing we are going to need is a label. So go to your toolbox and search for a label. And increase, increase its font size. So I'm going to set it up to about 36. Next thing we're going to do is uh, put some text in it. Put two zeros in it. Next, we're going to need three buttons. So drag a button up here. Copy it and press it two more times. Align it. Next, we're going to, we're going to put uh, some text in these three buttons. So select the button three and put type, type in exit. And the button two as stop. And the button one as start. Next, we're going to rename the buttons. Rename the button one as BTN start. And the button two as BTN stop. And the button three as BTN exit. Next, we're going to need, it, need the timer. So go to your toolbox, search timer. Drag it, and it will appear at the bottom of your form. Next, set the interval as 1000. We we'll keep the timer's name as it is, timer1, and leave the timer disabled, which is false. And then resize the form, make it a bit smaller. We strike the code. So click on a form twice. And the first thing we're going to do is create a variable called seconds. And it's going to be an integer. So, int seconds. And we're going to give the value of it to 0. Next. Next, go to your form and click on the start button. And so, basically, when we click the start button, it's just going to start the timer. So, timer1.start. And then when we click the start button, the timer will start at 10 seconds. So we're going to put seconds equals 10. Next, go to your form and click the stop button twice. So as you can guess, when you click the stop button, it's just going to stop the timer. So timer1.stop.
next go to your exit button and click it twice and this is just going to exit out of the application next go to your form and click the time of rise and write lbl timer sorry this is going to be label one dot text is equal to seconds two minuses and dot two string so basically what this does is we're going to make the timer equal to the label that means this will this label so as you know this will just show the timer and count it down and and what this does is whatever uh, we put in the label that means the timer it's just going to make it go downwards like 10 9 8 7 6 so if you put two pluses here it will just go upwards like 10 11 12 and 13 but it's a timer so we're just going to put two minuses so let's run the application now so press the start button so this is our timer and press, so press the start button So as you can see, there's a little problem. It goes back to the minuses. So we need to fix that with a if, if statement. So go back to your form and write if seconds is less than zero. Timer dot stop. So let's run our application again. And test that. So as you can see, it just stopped at zero. And press start. It starts back again. So if you press stop, it stops. And if you press exit, it just exits out of the application. So if you want to uh, exit out of, out of the application when the time hits zero, you can just put application.exit. And when the time hits zero, it will just exit. So and stop so as you can see it just exited out of the application so this is it for the for the video thank you for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time Two, I lost in